So in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys five positions Bradford City must improve on in this upcoming summer transfer window. If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please make sure to drop a like on their form. If you could share it 100 likes on today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Drop a comment in as well down in the comment section down below. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my selection going through five positions and a bit more of a specific profile of the player that we need to improve on in the actual position and I might even give you some suggestions as well for players who we could potentially sign who are currently free agents because more than likely we won't sign anyone with transfer fees it's very rare that we spend transfer fees and if they are they're very very minimal you were talking 10 20 30 grand absolute maximum we don't really spend big transfer fees potentially we might look at dipping into non-league at this summer transfer window I don't really know obviously the official return list still hasn't come out as well I brought you guys my return list on Monday. Whenever the return list does come out, I'll try and get my reaction to that out as soon as possible, but if it's out after 4pm on any day, then more than likely I will have already had a video out, so then it'll come out the following day, if that does make sense. Unless it's Friday, because there isn't only an upload on Friday, because they have five aside. But, apart from that, make sure to drop a like on today's video, subscribe if you are new as well, and let's get into it. So here is how the current Bradford City squad is lining up for the 2023-24 campaign, and like what I've mentioned, the official club's return list has not come out yet so we don't know which players are going to be signing on you know they might fill some of these spots but in my opinion we're going to go from least important to most important in terms of the top five anyway obviously somewhere like a right back personally I don't feel we really need to improve on right back I think Brad Halliday is more than good enough to be a starting right back in League 2. I think Luke, uh, Luke Hendry is a solid backup to be fair. And even Finkers and Dawson can do a job as a third choice if you absolutely need him to. And then if you're really, really desperate, you could put Folds at right back or even Timmy Odessina, something like that. So I think right back is a position that we're more than fine in. But in my opinion, the fifth most important position we need to improve in this summer transfer window is a left centre back. Obviously, we need a replacement for Romany Critchlow. He has been released by Huddersfield Town, but I do think it's very unlikely Bradford City will be able to get him back next season. Obviously, he's available on a free transfer but I think more than likely we'll get offers from League One clubs. As of right now our only natural left footed centre back is Kieran Kelly and from what I've seen of him in a back three he's played in for the majority of this season he's looked promising but Am I confident with him starting? I haven't seen enough of him really to judge. Now, my anticipation is Kelly was probably brought in in January with the view to him being the long-term replacement for Romney Critchlow. Now, whether Kelly's first choice or second choice, I still think I would rather have someone who's naturally left-footed to play at centre-back. Obviously, we've got Stubbs, Platt and Odessina who are all right-footed centre-backs, so it does already leave us with four centre-backs. More than likely, Timmy Odessina will be loaned out or even moved on permanently. This transfer window, that's a sign and that's not really worked out so far, but he might get a bit of a look in at next season. I know he, Odessina did play as a left centre back for Hartlepool United in a back three but with him naturally being right footed I like my left centre backs to be naturally left footed like when we're playing Stubbs and Platt as our two centre backs Stubbs looks a little bit shaky on his left foot so I personally like that balance and with Critchlow going it was a big loss for us so I personally like to see us bring in a left centre back in this upcoming transfer window the fourth most important position that I think we need to improve in this summer is a right winger now don't get me wrong we've currently got players who can play on the right wing Harry Chapman Jake Young Emmanuel Sadibe all players who could probably do a job out on that right hand side but obviously the loss of Scott Banks is a significant one he played last night for Crystal Palace's under 21s I think it was scored a goal in that one and obviously might potentially be available on a free transfer in the summer if Palace don't decide to offer him a new contract although I personally think they will offer him a contract and then they'll loan him out to a league one club but somewhere like a Charlton Athletic but this season we've had such a small output from all of our wingers apart from Scott Banks I think Banks was our second highest goal contribution uh, contributor sorry this season and we do need to replace him with either a permanent or a loan again but it's really important that we get more wingers in specifically someone who can play naturally on that right hand side who can cut in on their left foot I don't really have any other suggestions apart from maybe Johnny Smith he's been released by Burton Albion I think he will be a good pickup in League 2 but from what I've seen we clearly need to improve in the attacking areas and I think right wing is certainly a position we need to improve in now that we don't have Scott Banks in this upcoming summer transfer window the third most important on this list then is a striker and more specifically a pacey striker now we don't necessarily really know what is going to happen with Andy Cook. Say Andy Cook signs a new contract that leaves us with our three strikers, natural strikers anyway, to be Andy Cook, Viden Oliver and Matt Derbyshire. 
There's no pace in that whatsoever. So we need someone who can stretch defences. League two is pretty it's pretty simple. You need some players who are big physical units, and you need some players who are energetic, and you need some players who are very pacey. We haven't had a pacey striker all season. Kean Harrett wasn't really that and didn't really get too much of a look in when he was. He was playing out on the wing. Jake Young was playing more as a left winger as well. So in my opinion, I'm going to say that this name again, Daniel Adji, has to be one of our top priorities this summer for me, available on a free transfer after... Not yet signing a new contract with Crew Alexander. Now, Chris Long did sign a new contract with Crew. He'd have been another player I would have liked to have seen. But more specifically, Dan Adji, 16 goals, at 5 assists in a really, really poor Crew side. I think he would be a perfect fit into this side. Gives us different options then. If you want to go with a target man like Cook or Oliver, or you go with a finisher like Matt Derbyshire with someone a bit of experience, or you go with someone not necessarily raw, you know, a proven goal scorer at this level with that pace to stretch players in behind. In my opinion, I think Adji would be perfect. But any pacey striker, just someone who can stretch defences is a must for me this transfer window and I think it's the third most important position we need to improve in any upcoming at summer 22 sorry 23-24 transfer window the second most important position then that I think we need to improve on in this upcoming transfer window is a left back and more specifically an attacking left back now if Liam Rydell gets off with a new contract with the football club that is a massive no-no for me I don't think he's anywhere near good enough defensively poor offensively really really poor he's nowhere near good enough his legs have gone he's far too slow we need a left back with quality who can deliver balls into the box you put crosses into the box like what Halliday's done for the majority of the season over on that other side as well you have Halliday and then an attacking left back it could work really really well Halliday's very good he's a complete right back for me you know he didn't have his greatest game in the playoff semi-final second leg but I personally have no problems with Halliday I know a lot of people on social media have been saying we need to improve both full backs for me I think Halliday's fine left back though is certainly a position that I do think we need to improve in I don't have anyone specific to suggest but the problem for me is what's going to happen with Matty Folds is Matty Folds going to be happy to go in, to be going back to being a second choice left back again I don't think he will be so I think he will more than likely move on this transfer window because I, I personally don't think he's good enough really to be a team starting in a team who are challenging for the top three while I don't mind Matty Fold you know, he's consistently a six or a seven out of ten he does have weaknesses to his game and he's a little bit of a deer in the headlights and for me personally I'd like to see us bring in a new left back this summer transfer window preferably one who's very good going forward you no know, this was what, what Talaji Bola was meant to be a good attacking left back going forward with and he didn't really get an opportunity so we need a permanent attacking left back someone with a bit of experience in there as well someone with a bit of quality and in my opinion the second most important position we need to improve in in this upcoming transfer window and the most important position then that I think we need to improve on in this upcoming summer transfer window is a midfielder and more importantly a goal scoring midfielder the little amount of goal contributions we've had from midfield, especially goals, is so, so poor. Osadiebe has obviously had his injury problems this season, but no goals from him. I think Smallwood's got three goals, Gilead one goal, Walker four goals, Clayton no goals, Ryan East no goals. Like, we need a goal-scoring midfielder who's going to get close to double digits from the centre of midfield. Now, whether it's goals or assists, we just need a bit more from someone in there. You know, Gilead one goal, two assists, it's just not enough from a number eight. Now, I personally think Gilead should be released at the end of his contract I anticipate he probably will be given a new contract though by the football club and I just don't mind him as a backup player to come off the bench you know good energy for the last 20 minutes but I think you need a starter in there who's gonna score goals you look at all the teams who have got promoted this season or been a lot around the promotion spots they've had goal contributions from midfield and we simply have not had that this season now whether it's a natural box-to-box -box midfielder or more of a creative number 10 I don't really mind but we need someone who's gonna score double digits in goals help out one of the strikers if you're going to get promoted, you need a midfielder on double digits. You need a winger or two on double digits. You need a striker on pushing 20 goals. You need contributions from your fullbacks, even your centre-backs as well. You know, you need goals from all over. And I think a position where we certainly could improve on the next season is goals from midfield. Now, I think Smallwood's got a decent return, to be fair. I think he's around 10 goal contributions. But apart from that, all the other midfielders have been really, really underwhelming. And in my opinion, it is the most important position we need to improve on in this upcoming transfer window. Out of all the players who are out of contract in the summer a lot of them seem to be central midfielders as of right now are only real natural central midfielders a smallwood and ryan east yes osadibe can play there but he more needs a partner walker's more of an attacking midfielder apart from that we've got no one so we need a goal scoring midfielder off the top of my head i can't really suggest anyone maybe someone like a danny mayer from plymouth argyle he's been released by the pilgrim so i don't think that would be a bad shout connor grant as well also released by plymouth argyle but i think he's more of a box to box rather than a goal scorer but i think danny mayer would be absolutely perfect for that role and in my opinion should be a player we look to sign 
sign in this upcoming 2023-24 summer transfer window. I'm going to leave it there though for today's video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure to drop a like on there for me. If you could try and hit 100 likes, as I said at the start of today's video, that'd be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are on the road, 7,000 subscribers, so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on. It's free to do so and it does massively help out. Drop a comment in as well down in the comment section down below. Let me know which positions you think we definitely need to improve on in this upcoming transfer window. Fingers crossed the retain list comes out over the next couple of days and then we get underway with our signings and contract extensions and all that sort of stuff. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all very soon for another one. Peace.